The president seems to be shifting his focus from supporting background checks to building more mental health institutions to reduce gun violence. I do want people to remember the words mental illness. These people are mentally ill. You know, if you look at the 60s and 70s, so many of these institutions were closed and the people were just allowed to go onto the streets. We have to open up institutions. We can't let these people be on the streets. But an FBI report found that 63 active shooters between 2000 and 2013, only 25% had been diagnosed with mental illness. And another study found that of the 226 men who committed or at least tried to commit mass killings, 22% could be considered mentally ill. Let's discuss this with Chris Brown, the president of Brady, a gun control advocacy group. Chris, welcome back to the broadcast. I'm always glad to talk with you. I want to get your reaction to the president now focusing on linking gun violence to mental illness. You know, it's a red herring, and I think that you're appropriately showing why that's the case. The United States does not have any more mental illness than any other industrialized country anywhere in the world. We have a lot more gun violence. If we want to solve this problem, we know what the solutions are. We need to expand background checks. We need extreme risk laws, sometimes called red flag laws. And we need an, a ban on assault weapons and high capacity magazines. In state after state after state, which have adopted those laws, we've seen a reduction mm. in gun violence that's substantial. Let's focus on the problem and let's see if he's brave enough to stand up to the NRA because that's mm -hmm. what it's going to take to do it at the federal level. Might this be the time, though, to stand up for the NRA, to the NRA because Politico is reporting that there's internal turmoil at the NRA. Uh, I know that four board members have resigned in the last two, three weeks, and it's preventing the organization from aggressively fighting the push for gun control. Is that what you are seeing as well? Are the NRA's lobbying efforts, are they precarious or is that an underestimation of the NRA? It's not an underestimation. If you look at 2018 and see that we delivered a gun violence prevention majority in the House of Representatives in 2018 for the first time in a generation, that didn't happen by accident. Gun violence prevention groups outspent the NRA by five to one. They're very distracted with Beverly Hills boutique expenses, a $5 million home that Wayne LaPierre was arranging for the NRA uh, to purchase on his behalf with investigations of their non profit status by the New York Attorney General and now by the D.C. Attorney General. And I think we're going to see that the NRA deserves nonprofit status like a Superfund site deserves to sell organic. Mm -hmm. The reality is that needs to be taken away and they're losing the membership that was core to them. And hmm. those are responsible gun owners who in every poll want the kind of changes yeah. Brady has long advocated. L let me give you some numbers here. There's this new poll which finds that 90 percent of registered voters support expanding background checks. 81 percent support the red flag laws. For those who don't know what that is, they allow courts to take guns away from potentially dangerous people. Those proposals, Chris, are also supported by Republican Senator Lindsey Graham. Listen to what he says he told the president. So we talked today about the red flag laws and background checks. And um, I said, the time has come to do more than pray. And we'll find, hopefully, some bipartisan space here. My view is that there's some people out there uh, that need help, not a gun. And I'm tired of trying to explain to parents who come to Washington why we didn't do something. How important is it, Chris, to convince those who have the president's ear, like Senator Graham? I mean, is that a significant part of the Brady strategy? We at Brady have always, look, we were founded by Jim and Sarah Brady. We have the Brady Law that just celebrated uh, the 25-year anniversary because we re reached across both sides of the aisle. You know, that bill passed and was signed into law by unanimous consent in the Senate. So this can happen. There is precedent for it. But absolutely, we need more Republicans like Lindsey Graham to look at what the solutions are, to recognize these are changes that we desperately need, that the American people want, and that will save lives. And I think Lindsey Graham has been moved by hearings that he's held, where witnesses have come forward who've lost loved ones to say, I 
deserve better. We mm -hmm. want to live in America where I can walk down the street, drop off my kid at school, go to Walmart without the fear of being shot. And if we want to talk about mental health, we have an entire nation right now that is, is suffering from basically a form of PTSD mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because gun violence is not addressed. And I think politicians on both sides of the aisle recognize that. Chris Brown, keep up the fight there for the Brady campaign. Thank you, Thank you so much.